Hello, everybody. <clears throat> well, recently we've seen video of uh, Senator Harry Reid accusing the Bundy Ranch and their supporters of being domestic terrorists. But the real question is, are they really exhibiting any of the characteristics of a domestic terrorist? And the answer is no. Terrorists typically target public buildings, um, government buildings, places where they can make the most impact and harm the most people to get their point across. And these people actually helped to avert, along with the help of the BLM agents that backed down, they actually averted a crisis. So you don't see too many terrorists doing that. But uh, anyway, here's my assessment of the situation. Harry's trying to save face. And he bungled this terribly. He got caught with his pants down. He got caught making dirty deals with China. And basically, this situation unexpectedly outed him as someone who's guilty of treason. So he's trying to fix it but he's going about it the wrong way. And the way you can tell that is because the administration, the executive branch, is strangely silent about this. And I can almost guarantee that they told him, you screwed it up, you fix it. Well, guess what, folks? He's just screwing it up even more. Because in spite of what he's saying, these people have not exhibited any wishes to go attack anybody. They're simply acting in defense. And so they're not in the wrong at all. <clears throat> if they're wrong for what they're doing, then anybody that calls the police to protect them from unfair treatment or bullying is guilty of being domestic terrorists as well. And when the law enforcement branch decides that they do not want to support someone, it's up to law-abiding citizens upstanding good people to stand and defend people who are being abused. So that's my take on the situation. Harry Reid, you know you're a treasonous bastard. And the more you open your mouth, the more you screw up. So you'd be wiser to just shut up.